study architecture in the UK. Hi, it's Dr. Darren and welcome again to TAP TV. On this week's broadcast, I'll be exploring the undergraduate university course Architecture. Right across the UK, there are presently 55 higher education institutions where you can complete a degree in architecture, 54 different universities and whole college. Just to mention, you can also become an architect through an apprenticeship route, but for the purpose of this broadcast, we'll be focusing on the university route. This takes about seven years in total. So five years of study and two years of training in the UK. And the process is in three parts. Part one can be fulfilled by graduating from what is usually a three year Bachelor of Arts Honours degree in architecture. Although a number of universities award the Bachelor of Architecture Honours with very few opting for the Bachelor of Science Honours degree instead. And one awarding an MEng, so a Master's in Engineering Honours degree, after a four-year architecture program. Whatever the degree award, graduating from nearly all of the programmes currently lead to exemption from Part 1 of the Architecture Examination by REBA, the Royal Institute of British Architects. Now, between Part 1 and 2, aspiring architects also complete a year-out practice in the architectural profession. Part two is typically fulfilled through a two-year Master of Architectures program, which on successful completion gives exemption from part two of the REBA exam. Moving on to part three, this can then be completed as a postgraduate diploma in architecture professional practice, giving exemption from part three of the REBA exam. I bet you agree that following through with this lengthy career path requires some commitment. So hats off to the architects amongst us. Now in this broadcast, let's focus on gaining university admission into part one of the process. Here's your preparation checklist for entering the first step of becoming an architect in the UK. Number one, GCSEs. Most of the universities will require at the very least four or five GCSEs with a minimum C grade, often in maths and English and a science. So that's the minimum. Needless to say, more competitive architecture departments will require much better grades than C's. Number two, your portfolio. Pretty much all universities require for you to submit a portfolio of your work as part of the admission process. This will serve as evidence of your creative abilities, potential, and will be the main point of discussion at interview. So please include a personal sketchbook, 3D modeling, photography pieces, paintings, drawings, and the list goes on. Ah, oh, and one more thing, make sure your portfolio is well arranged, you know, well, very well organized. Number three, A-levels. Each university sets a requirement for predicted or achieved A-level grades or equivalent further education qualifications, that is. But they usually prefer an art or design subject, whether it's a, an A-level, a B-Tech, an IB, so International Baccalaureate, whatever subjects that you're taking at further education, this will be part of the process. So in summary, studying architecture is well within the reach of many, many students based on the range of grades and qualifications acceptable of architectural departments across the UK. The crucial thing is that you check the acceptable qualifications and the required grades for the specific universities to which you will be applying. Yeah? And to gain your place, a love for art and design subjects is very important. And so you should start building a portfolio like yesterday. Wishing you the very best in your quest to becoming an architect. Thank you for watching TAP TV. Please share with others, like, and subscribe to TAP TV. Until next time, you got it, enjoy.